So we're gonna go over the basics of autopilot. Now, I think this is really important if you're thinking about ordering a Tesla, maybe you have one on delivery soon because you want to know how to safely use autopilot and some mistakes you wanna avoid that are huge safety risks. So let's go over exactly what those are with number one, how to use autopilot and when. So this is how you use autopilot. You wanna use the right column on your steering wheel and you wanna push down twice. Now this will engage autopilot and to know that you're an autopilot, you'll see blue lines going on either side of your Tesla on the screen and that'll let you know that autopilot is engaged but some safety things you need to think about before you use autopilot now you do need to have both hands on the wheel and you need to be ready to intervene at any time so autopilot even full self-driving is not level five autonomous and what that means is you can't take a nap you have to pay attention to the road but autopilot is extremely safe and again we're going to give you some safety examples but before we do that, you need to know how to get out of autopilot. And there are three ways to get out of autopilot. Number one is you can push on that joystick, if you will, upwards on the right column of your steering wheel. You can push upwards. You can also turn the wheel firmly and this will remove autopilot and you'll get a chime confirming that you're out of autopilot or you can hit the brake. So that's a little bit about how to use and disengage autopilot. Now I have a list here of some safety features that you wanna know before you get into the car and use autopilot. And number one is you can't use autopilot, of course, unless your seatbelt is buckled. And if you're in autopilot, you do not want to remove that seatbelt, even to grab something that you dropped momentarily, thinking that, well, the car is driving itself. That'll set off a variety of alarms inside of your car, telling you to immediately take over control. So keep that seatbelt buckled and that's probably for everyone's safety. So did you know that you can't exceed a certain amount of speed in autopilot? So if you're on the interstate, my Model 3, I can't go above 80 miles. Now, newer Model 3s and other Teslas have a higher speed threshold, but my Model 3, there is a limit of 80 miles. Attention monitoring. Are you watching the road when you're in autopilot? Well, if you didn't know, there's an interior camera and the data that is collected from this camera is encrypted, which means Tesla does not have access to the interior uh, footage. So don't worry, they're not watching you. But what is happening is a software system is monitoring your eyes for distractions. If you're looking at a cell phone, if your hands aren't on the wheel, you'll occasionally get reminders to pay attention to the road and have your hands on the wheel. Again, this is more of a um, monitoring system, if you will. It's not a live stream that's happening to Tesla. There's not an individual watching those cameras. Uh, it's an automatic function and a safety function of autopilot. So what happens if you ignore these safety functions? Well, what will happen if you constantly ignore the autopilot alerts to remind you to watch the road and have your hands on the wheel, the car will actually stop driving. Yes, it'll slow down very, very gradually and it'll instruct you to pull over. Now this is again for safety reasons, uh, knowing while well, the car is assuming that maybe something happened that you can't take over the wheel, maybe in an emergency happened. So it does this out of safety. But it also, even if it's not something serious like that, let's say you're just on your phone texting like you shouldn't be. Well, it'll lock you out of the autopilot feature. So if you ignore it enough and then you take over the wheel, uh, thinking, well, I'm just going to keep putting autopilot on over and over and over again, so maybe I can do some work or text uh, while I'm driving, again, which you shouldn't do, then it will lock you out of the autopilot function. So those are some safety functions that'll prevent you from driving dangerously. And what are some benefits if you are a safe driver and you're using Tesla Autopilot? Well, number one, it does have traffic aware cruise control. Now cruise control is common in a lot of vehicles, but the Tesla Tesla Vision, which is using all of those cameras around your car, has a smart cruise control. So it'll keep you in equal distance from cars in front of you and behind you while keeping that cruise control speed. So here's a really important function of autopilot is autopilot will keep you in clearly marked lanes. Now I can repeat that clearly marked lanes. And I say that, and I want to say it again, because I've been in situations where if the lanes are, or the paint on the road is a little foggy and you can't really see it, it's a little faded, 
then autopilot will not be as accurate. But the system is really, really smart because if there's no clearly marked lanes, then autopilot doesn't know, is, is this a really wide lane or is it two lanes and there's no markings? So it typically will not let you engage autopilot unless there are those clear lanes. So keep that in mind, you're not always able to use autopilot. It looks for those lanes that are clearly marked. So there is emergency braking and forward collision warning as part of the safety features and benefits of autopilot. So if you're unaware, if you happen to get distracted, like all of us do from time to time, then the Teslas are one of the safest cars on the road. And what it'll do, it'll put the brake on for you. So it'll press that brake down if you happen to be distracted and prevent accidents. And it also will give you a warning. It's a chime warning if you are maybe approaching another vehicle more quickly than you really should be. And that'll um, allow you to take over the wheel and press on the brake if you need to before getting into a collision. So it also has obstacle aware acceleration. Well, what does that really mean? So if I am coming up to a car a little faster than I should be, it actually decelerates the car for you. So again, the best way to prevent an accident is to constantly be paying attention and taking over the wheel and pressing that brake if you're coming up close to a vehicle. But it does decelerate the car, again, if maybe you're in bumper to bumper traffic or you're in rush hour or normal traffic and you happen to be approaching a car faster, it's part of that regenerative braking. So it's another safety feature of autopilot. So there is lane departure avoidance. So the car will drive itself back into the lane correcting you if you happen to be drifting in another lane and there's blind spot monitoring. So if you are merging, it will be looking for um, cars in your blind spot and it'll give you a warning if there is a vehicle in your blind spot. So now you know how to use and disengage autopilot. We went over some safety features that are baked into the car and autopilot to avoid collisions and some benefits when to use autopilot and what should you expect. Overall, Autopilot is absolutely amazing. I have driven over 10,000 miles in my Model 3 and I use it frequently, whether I'm on the highway or sometimes in those neighborhood streets, which of course you have to pay attention more because Autopilot is not full self-driving. So Autopilot, the one that comes with your Tesla, does not recognize traffic lights or stoplights, so make sure you're aware of that. But on a daily driver, if you're going to use it, it is extremely accurate on those clearly marked roads and I would trust it every single time I got in my Tesla. So hopefully you learned some benefits of autopilot. If you did, make sure to drop a like. Again, this is Matt from Funk the Trunk. Can't wait to see you in the next video and we'll see you then.